There we go. Right. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Bosh, 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 bosh. Bosh, 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 bosh. Connect with there. Connect with there. Search for server by name. SFR. ACC. There we go. Connect. Go, there we go, there we go. There we go. I should have changed that. I need to change the go live. One ACC from Donington. You know we're live, yeah? Uh huh. I know. Okay. Can they hear us? Yes, oh. everyone can hear us. We should be good. I yeah, we should be good, Dom. <laughs> we should be good, mate. Alright, we should be back, ladies and gents. Yay! Let's go. You should be able to hear me. You should be able to hear Mr. Massive Allender as well. As we come back in, as TS Leclerc puts in a lap time. Seven cents behind Mr. Goose. right on board with Mr. Leclerc because why the hell not? And in that time we've also had an extra driver join the lobby Kieran in Sambo. We have indeed Mr. TES Sambo is in the building driving the Lexus. Beautiful looking car so, the Lexus. Yes I know our browser source is offline but that's what happens when you stream through the Xbox. So it's unfortunately no stand alerts guys. Um, because obviously we are now streaming through the Xbox, which is why we don't have any of our overlays or anything like that, unfortunately. Um, I haven't got one set up for light stream yet for ACC, um, and it would have taken me too much time to do it on the fly. Hopefully, it... Hopefully I can be heard. Hopefully everything is all good on the stream. Let me just chuck my earphones in on my separate device. Oh. Just to make sure. Yeah, we are all good. I can be heard. That is the main thing. I believe Mr. Matty can also be heard. I certainly hope I can. One just currently on board with Papa three. Goose. Seems to take By a little Mr. bit. Okay. Seems to take that corner a little bit on the grass there. I'm not sure if that was intentional. I think he's winding up for a next for another flying lap. Have a look, he is on, where is Mr. Goose? At the moment, he's on the run down to the S's. His favourite the bollards, S's he of goes. course, missing. He won't be happy yeah, about that, uses him as a marker, he has said. There's a little insight for everybody there. Yeah, he does indeed, round the Melbourne hairpin. The penultimate corner here at Donington. Before we come up to the final corner. which I cannot for the life of me remember off the top of my head at the moment. I know I said it earlier, but I genuinely can't remember it now. What is it? It is Goddard. Goddard? Goddard. Yes, it is Goddard. That was right, it is Goddard. See, I, I do know my stuff. <laughs> I, act, I act dumb sometimes, but I do know my stuff. Uh, who else have we got out on track? Noodle is currently out on track as well. He's going very, yeah, very, very, very up on his fastest lap time so far. I think... T.S. Bowen's going to be the next person that well, we can see cross the line as he comes around Goddard's now on the right side of the line. He is up on his time. He is about three, two and a, about a quarter of a second up on his time. He goes, still remains second, but he has improved his lap time with a 130.1. Jump off of him and onto Mr. Dom the Noodle. The Noodle is just about to come around Goddard and now he's about 1.3 seconds up on his time so far. Uh, that time shot up. Very, very good exit though by Noodle. We go. He stays P6 with a 133.4. What we'll quickly do is we'll quickly jump onto the timetables just so everyone can see what sort of lap time people are putting in. Papa Goose currently leading the way with a 129.550. He has done 11 laps in qualifying so far. T.S. Bowen or T.S. Leclerc 
in second with a 130.1. Alpaca Carbon is third with a 131.3. Big Will is fourth as uh, Don the Noodle takes the scenic route and goes for a little <laughs> spinella at the same time. All for good measure. Um, Big Will is currently fourth with a 132.5. Adam Lee is fifth with a 132.7. Dominic with a 1334. At the moment, those are your Oof. cars. Adam Lee has just gone off there. He was up on his time. Has just gone off the uh, just gone off the track onto the grass and invalidated his lap time. So his next lap won't count, unfortunately. But he was up by about two tenths on his time, Kieran. So everybody seems to be getting quicker and quicker as this qualifying session goes on. Indeed, my friend. The further we get into this qualifying session, the quicker the times will get. So as you can see, in that right-hand corner, you've got the time left in the session, and you have what the race weekend looks like. 30-minute qualifying and an hour-long race with a four times multiplier. So what that multiplier means, guys, is a minute real-time is going to be four hours, uh, no, four, how is it? The time is going to be running four times the, le uh, four times the speed as it would normally. So we will be racing for an hour, but as far as the game is concerned, we will be racing for four. So the game time will go up twice as fast when we actually go racing in just under 10 minutes time. Hopefully that makes sense. I think it Hopefully does. That makes I, sense. It makes sense to me, and if it makes sense to me, then it should make sense to everybody else. So it's what's called a simulated four hours of Donington Park. So it's an hour long race, but as far as the gaming is concerned, it will be four hours. So it'll be a four hour long race in game time, but in real time, it will only be an hour. Uh, so Leclerc comes around Goddard's now. He's up on his on time again. To the line. Within four tenths now of Papa Goose. That was a 129.9 by Mr. T.S. Bowen, or Leclerc, as he is known in the F1 side of SFR. Of course, we will be live tomorrow night with round one of uh, SFR F1. So, with myself and Sways back in the commentary box for that one. So, uh,. You still get your Formula 1 fix, despite the actual F1 not being around. But of course, F1 is not the order of the day today. It is a set of Corsa. It is Endurance. It is GT3. As we quickly jump on with Noodle. No, that's a very good point, Norris. Swayze is not here tomorrow. I don't have Swayze tomorrow, do I? I may have a guest. I may well have a guest commentator with me tomorrow. <gasps> <laughs> but I'm not saying who. Oh, wow. air of mystery. Mm. Need Scooby Doo to sort oh, this one out. As a pack of carbons, uh, pack of carbons coming around the last corner here. He's very much up He's on his time. Up. And it's valid. She's lost a little bit of time. It's a P3. Corner, 131 1. Putting his name on the. Uh, in the hat there. So tell me, Kieran, who are you looking forward to most watching in this hour race? Who do you, who do you think is going to be the, the people to watch? Um, I think the guy, it's, it's going to sound like a bit of a cop-out answer because, of course, they are the guys at the top of the timing screens at the moment. Um, but obviously, I've raced with these guys for quite a while, so I know what they're like. Um, Papa Goose, TES Bowen, or Leclerc, are two of the guys that you want to be keeping an eye on. Um, Bit of an unknown quantity would be Adam Lee. Um, yep. I've not really seen Adam Lee on ACC. I think he may have actually only just bought the game today. So he is very much going to be an unknown quantity in this. So uh, he could be worth keeping an eye on. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. There's a fair bit of traffic at the moment coming into the final sector. Uh, we've got... What? We've got Sambo, Noodle, Mr. Papa Goose, and Adam Lee, all within very, very close times of one another. As Noodle's gone off, Noodle's gone back to the pit. Uh, he is 
clearly done all he feels he can do. Six and a half minutes left in qualifying. As you can see at the top of the screen, guys, the track is optimum, which means that the track is at its best possible condition now. So the track is at its fastest. It is the fastest it could potentially be. Um, so keep an eye on these times because they could potentially move quite a bit as Hover Goose is not using, not driving with his normal number, which is interesting. Driving with the number 43. Um, obviously, uh, obviously, Papa Goose is normally known to use the number 47. Um, but for whatever reason, he's using the 43 this evening. It's an interesting decision there by uh, Mr. Papa Goose. But could, be a, uh, could be a superstitious thing going into ACC. Could think it could bring him a little bit of luck. Not really, Chloe. You've missed a stream reset, um, but that's about it. We've got five and a half minutes left of qualifying as Papa Goose comes up to Goddard now. He is pretty much on par with the time that he's set so far. It's going to be very, very minimal improvement if he does improve. It is a very, very... No, it wasn't actually. It was very, very slightly down on his best time. But Papa Goose does still maintain P1. Ooh, that was... Bit of a scenic route there by Papa Goose. Uh, decided that he didn't want to take the turns properly. So he's going to... Um, he's going to take a bit of a scenic route. Cause Another driver that's up on his time coming for, coming around the final corner is Alpaca Carbon. As he's going to go about five, six, maybe even seven temps up on his time there. It's P3 Ooh, again, but it's dropped down now into 130. 130.4, again getting quicker and quicker. He is in indeed. So who have we got next on track to potentially cross the line? It's going to be Noodle. I don't know if he's on an in-lap or an out-lap. He's on an out-lap. This won't be a time being set by Noodle. This is just him getting ready. Indeed, very well said there by Norris Chloe. You don't have to apologise if you need to go anywhere. Just go and do what you need to do. And then come back when you come back. Somebody that's Not absolutely flying at the moment is Adam Lee. He's almost a second up on his time here. Coming up towards the end of his lap. If he can keep it smooth going through the last two corners, he could be on for a very good lap time here, Kieran. He could indeed. We are going to ride on board with him now as he comes up to Goddard. As you can see, he's just under a second up on his time at the moment. If he can get a good exit out of the final corner here, he could be really, really up on his time. He's got an okay exit. He stays P4 with a 130.4. Have a quick look at the timetable so you can see what everyone's hitting. You can see there 12 hundredths of a uh, sorry, 12 thousandths of a second, sorry, separating Alpaca Carbon and Adam Lee. Very, very close between oh, those oh. two drivers. Very, what? very close between P3 and 4. What a battle that could be in the race. Indeed. We are into the final three minutes nearly of qualifying before these drivers go for an hour long race. Noodle, through the S's, is a second up on his time. Can he line up the Melbourne hairpin and Goddard's cleanly enough? Oh, he's a second and a half up on his time. He's made half a second on that one corner. This could be a very, very good lap time for Dobler Noodle. He could really make a good show of himself here. If he can get a good exit through the final corner, he can. He could be nearly two seconds up as he crosses the line. Dobler Noodle crosses the line at 131.293. That is P5 for Dobler Noodle. I'll be honest, I think he's going to be very, very happy with that time, Matty. It's a fantastic lap, but it's also going to give him confidence going into going into the race to put that lap in with two minutes to go before the end of qualifying. He's going to be going into the race on a real high. And I think, yeah, you're right. He's going to be so happy with that. And it's something that he can definitely push on from. Most definitely. Papa Goose going quite slowly. I'm wondering whether this is potentially an in-lap from Papa Goose. Uh, let's see if he hugs to the... No, he stays out. Is he going to go for one more for flyer? 17 laps he has done in this qualifying session so far. We'll see who else is around. Uh, Leclerc is, I think, just about to start a lap. Big Packer Williams is very well. much down on his time. Uh, so we'll have a look at Sambo. 
Sambo is the next one to cross the line. He is also down on his time. Interestingly, Papa Goose is about four tenths up on his time through the first few corners. Fantastic driving from him so far on this lap. If he can keep it smooth, we could be on for a really, really, really good time. Good indeed. Let's go with an onboard of Papa Goose as he finishes this lap. He's lost a fair bit of time now, though. In fact, oh. he's lost all of that time that he had gained in Sector 1. He has now lost, Matty. Oh, I'll have to apologise for the commentator's curse. <laughs> oh. Commentator's curse. <laughs> I've dropped him Papa right Goose in it there. there. Bye, Matty. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. <laughs> Coming up to the Melbourne hairpin now, though. See if you can potentially uh, make up some more time. I don't think he's going to, unfortunately. It's not ideal. But we're into the final 30 seconds now of qualifying. These are going to be the last little times that people are going to be able to try and get lap times in. Jump on with T.S. but He is down on his time. He is going to be the last person to cross the line. Unfortunately, Sambo's so invalidated should his. Able, should be able to finish their lap times. Or do they? So it's 38, uh, 30 second wait time. So I don't think people are going to have enough time to finish those laps that they are on. Which means that Papa Goose takes the first pole position of SFR. ACC. He's going to be very happy with that. Extremely happy. It's a fantastic time to set as well. And he proved going through that final lap that he could go quicker if he hadn't have been cursed by by myself. So I, I do apologise for that, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So you can see those are the seven times there. Papa Goose on pole. T.S. Leclerc in second. Now Packer third. Adam Lee fourth. Don the Noodle in fifth. T.S. Big Will in sixth. And Sambo in seventh ignore that eighth spot um that was someone who uh is looking after the server for us he had to quickly jump in and make sure everything was working fine before he went off and did his own thing so we have got four minutes until we go racing this is just a little comfort break for the drivers and everything like that so if you do want to go and grab yourself a drink guys grab yourself some food before we get ourselves into an hour of racing around this Donington Park circuit. So whilst they are doing that, whilst the drivers are getting themselves ready, I'll give you guys a little bit of a heads up of what is about to happen. So as we've said, it's an hour long race. And that is an hour real time. So these guys are now going to be racing for the next hour straight. During that time, the game will activate what is called the pit window. That's what the all those green ones are next to everyone's driver's number on the left-hand side of the screen. That means that they have a mandatory pit stop, like in F1, that they have to complete. During this pit stop, it has to be done during the pit window. That is the first thing. The second thing, they have to change their tyres. And the third and final thing is they have to refuel. So they have to put a little bit more petrol, a little bit more gas into their cars. If you do not do that, you will be punished by the game for not serving your mandatory pit stop. Should you obtain damage before the mandatory pit stop window opens, you can pit, you can repair your damage, etc, etc, but it will not get rid of the green one next to your name until the pit window opens. The window, as I said, will last for half an hour. So at any point in that half an hour, the drivers can come in, serve their mandatory pit stop, and then that is then done for the rest of the race. They can then continue to drive as normal and not have to worry about it. The drivers, as you can see, are lined up two by two. So you can see three drivers at the moment in TES Bowen, Adam Lee, and TES Big Will. Uh, in fact, I should be able to... There you go. I can circle through the onboard camera so you can see the full grid there. The odd numbers are on the left hand side, the even numbers are on the right. That is obviously to allow pole position to get the inside line into turn one. So they have the pole position advantage. But the drivers will line up two by two on the run up to the line. 
They have to stay a certain distance from each other, both in length and width. On approach to the line, there will then be a speed limit that all the drivers have to adhere to. I believe here at Donington it is 43 miles an hour. No one is allowed to go faster than 43 miles an hour until they put start uh, cross the start finish line. Once they hit the start finish line, and well, once the leader crosses the start finish line, we go racing. At that point, you can put your foot down, and the madness of an hour's racing will commence. If there are any questions that you guys in chat do have, do please feel free to drop them in chat and I will try to answer them as best as I can. We are about 45 seconds away from the start of this race. So I'm now going to take a quick drink before the madness ensues, <laughs> and I'm going to let Matty tell you who he thinks is going to win this race. Oh, drop me right under the bombshell with 30, te with 30 seconds to go. Um, 30 seconds. I think... I'm gonna go for a surprise. Surprise! Um, I think our pack of carbon might be a, a a secret weapon here. I think he's starting P3. He can watch the two leaders battle it out, and if he gets a clean start, depending on what happens in front of him, he could be on for a real shot here of taking this win. So I'm go I'm gonna I'm gonna be brave, and I'm gonna go our pack of carbon for the win. You heard it here first. Well, there we go. Right, I'm getting rid of that message from Norris because I can. <laughs> Who's the slowest? I wouldn't say I wouldn't say we have a slowest Jord. I wouldn't say that. Uh, who do I think are going to be top three? Um, I'm going to say T. S. Leclerc to win. Goose in second, and Alpaca Carbon is going to finish third. I think the top three who are, um, yeah, the, the top three on the grid from qualifying are going to be the top three in the race. But uh, we shall see. As you can see, the drivers getting ready. Um, of course, can't do that yet. So what we'll do is we'll jump onto TES Bowen's on board for now. We also have Sambo starting in the pits, Kieran. Sambo forgot to hit drive. That's not going to help Sambo. But we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, and we are green, green, green. We are racing here in Donington Park. Public goods gets off to a very, very good start. T.S. Bowen not really able to make too much headway off the line. Don the leader can early move here on Adam Lee. I think he may have got that move done. He did just about get that move done. He is ahead of Adam Lee. That is Don the Noodle up into P5 now. Uh, up into P4 now, sorry. It hasn't updated the timing screens. There you go. The timing screens have now been updated. Oh, Papa Goose is off. Papa Goose has had a bit of a moment. Yeah. He is off. T.S. Bowen takes the lead of the race. That's a disaster for Papa Goose. Absolute disaster yeah. after a great qualifying session. Everybody else seems to have gone away cleanly. They have indeed. That's a big, big off by Papa Goose. He's all the way down in P7 now. So a lot of work for Papa Goose to be able to do now. He's about three seconds behind Sambo. In P7, of course. There we go. A lot of work for Mr. Goose. And it would be just after Norris. Just as Norris says he's going to win the race. Oh, that was quick. Um, That seems to have come out of nowhere. Um, Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Um, I'm seeing rain. <laughs> that's, exactly what I've, that's exactly what I've just seen. Um, well, that came out of nowhere. If Papa Goose well, ever needed sure a saving grace, there. there it is. A little bit of rain could... Play a bit, little bit of havoc and get him back into the race. It's a tough ask for him, but it's probably the best thing he could have asked for at this time. Right, the pit lane is now open as Adam Lee goes a little bit wide there. There's a little bit of a battle. Big Will has taken a massive, massive advantage of that, and he's jumped both. Dom oh, Lee Dom's got Adam. Adam Lee. Oh, but Adam's got him back on the inside. Good and thing. Dom, Dom's off. Dom has gone off. Dom has oh, gone off, he lost Dom. the back end and has ended up in the wall. I think he clipped the grass a little bit there, trying to give some room. Unfortunately for him, he's ended up in the wall. Hopefully there's not too much damage for him. Disaster there. Indeed. It is big, big disaster there. We're going to jump on with TES Big Will. As he is being hunted down Oof. by Adam Lee. Sorry to interrupt you, Kieran, but no, Alpaca in, Carbon in. just... Almost lost the back end there. He caught. He went a little bit wide on the curb, 
ended up losing the back end, but he was able to keep hold of it. But that is, a, that is of course, given Leclerc a little bit of a lead, a little bit of lead of extension there. Has indeed. Big Will had a bit of a moment into uh, what well, out of coppice, I should say, and uh, Adam Lee has taken advantage of that. Adam Lee is now Dom's off again. P3. Dom's off again. I think there must be damage on the car from hitting the wall because he's just... I didn't see what happened fully, but he has just lost the position to Papa Papagoose, who's got past Sambo and Dom now. So Dom must be struggling there with a little bit of damage on the car. The good news for him is I believe the pit lane is open, Kieran. The pit lane is indeed open, so Noodle can go in and repair any damage that he may potentially have. But of course, it will not clear his mandatory stop. Saying that... Everyone is jumping into the pits because they're all putting wet tyres on. They're all moving Ooh, on to wet tires. Sambo's on the grass. Sambo at the back of the grid has ended up on the grass there. He almost lost the back end. He did well to hold on to it on the grass, but he's going to want to get to that pit lane as quickly as possible to go onto the wet. He is indeed. As you can see, Dom the Noodle diving into the pits as well. Waiting for Sambo now as he comes around. Goddard, he's going to probably dive into the pits as well and put those wet tyres on. I'm going to say that rain, uh, the rain sort of came out of nowhere. Now. <laughs> is, is, that, is, is Sambo? No. Sambo staying out. Oh, well, that's a high be, risk, high reward strategy there. Could this be an absolute master play here by <laughs> TES Sambo? Decided, you know what, boys? I'm not oh. going to pit. I'm going to stay out. <laughs> And I'm going to take... Oh, maybe not. Oh, <laughs> He's gonna... Sambo. Oh, Sambo. Sambo. Oh, oh Sambo. Oh, dear, Sambo. A... That's not ideal. Oh, did I see a penalty there? Adam Lee has just received a stop-go 30-second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Got to, You've got to adhere to those speed limits in the pit lane. The pit lane is 31 miles an hour as a speed limit. Adam Lee has not... Kept up with that. Oh, big hit by Sambo there. So Adam Lee will have to go and serve a 30 second stop go penalty. It's not like your normal 10 seconds that you get in Formula One. This is <laughs> GT3 racing. They don't take any prisoners. Adam Lee will have to drive down the pit lane, sit in his pit box for 30 seconds before he is then able to leave again. And oh, there goes Sambo into the wall again. TES Boeing or Leclerc, however you want to, whoever you want to do it, takes the lead of this race once again. As Dom the Noodle finally being unleashed from the pits now, but he's got it all to do from the back. He's 40, he's about 45 seconds off Papa Goose is Papa Goose at the moment, and that time is climbing, of course, as he starts his lap. So he's got it all to do from the back. Unfortunate for him. Oh, we've got a yellow flag. I think that might be Sam again. No, it's Papa Goose. It's Papa Goose, oh, it's He's had a little spin. Goose has had a little bit of a spin. Uh, where is Sambo at the moment? Sambo is really, really struggling. He can't get around the Melbourne hairpin. Sure. Oh, and he's had a spin as well now. That's not going to help. That's not going to help Sambo's cause. <laughs> as Adam Lee comes into the pits. He needs to drive up to his pit box, as we say, guys. And he needs to sit there for 30 seconds we just want to wait for him to stop at his pit box that is now adam lee stuck there for 30 seconds he will not leave this pit lane for the next 30 seconds sambo is still gotta come in now surely yeah there he does sambo does come now into the pits oh bouncing left right so that's a fair bit of damage on sambo's car now as well sambo is not having the best of times I'm wondering whether Sambo's uh, wheel is disconnected here. I'm wondering whether Sam's had a couple of uh, technical issues with his wheel because he's really not having the best of times here. But we'll jump back into some of the actual some of the racing that is on track. So we've got TES Boeing leading <laughs> still six seconds ahead of Alpaca Carbon. There it is. The stop and go has been cleared. For Adam Lee, Adam Lee can now go racing once again. But he does also now have to be careful because he will have the TS Leclerc gaining on him pretty darn quickly. I'm not sure what just happened there, but Dom the Noodle was on the grass. 
He's back on the track now and is trying to close down Adam, but I'm not quite sure what happened as Adam Lee goes wide and Dom retakes P5. Everybody's struggling to keep the cars on the track in this weather as Dom runs a little bit wide onto the grass there as well. But a battle for fifth is certainly ensuing if Adam can catch Dom back up. It is indeed. There is Dom the Noodle. As Papa in Goose has had another Mercedes. spin. Sorry, Kieran. Papa Goose has no, had another fine. spin. He started on pole in this race, of course. He event he then had a, uh, an incident, ended up down at bottom of the grid. He's worked his way back up to fourth so far, but he is struggling to keep con keep control of the car in the wet. He is indeed. I know in the uh, in the pre-race practice session that you caught the start of, or sorry, the end of when we first went live this evening. Um, I was talking to Papa Goose prior to going live. And he did say that he was really, really struggling in wet conditions. So hopefully that's not going to hinder him too much. He's in the pits, Kieran. He's in a one, yeah, he is. A 158.2 that last lap time as Papa Goose comes into the pits. I'm wondering whether that means that he's got damage. and He needs to repair said damage. That is going to allow Dom the Noodle to uh, pass Papa Goose. So that is now Dom the Noodle up into P4. As Adam Lee has just come into the pits as well, he struggled to get the car around Goddard on the last corner. And I'm not sure if he was struggling with a little bit of damage, but he's in the pits as well. He is indeed still no mandatory pit window though. I have a funny... F oh no! Sambo, 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 Sambo's night goes from bad to worse. Sambo's picked up a 30 second stop go for speeding in the pit lane. That's not going to help Sambo's race in any way, shape Oof. or form. I should say, guys, uh, in GT racing, points go to the top eight. So all of these drivers, providing they finish the race, are guaranteed points here in the SFR ACC Championship. As Sambo's race has just gone above from bad to worse, I, th I do think you might be onto something with the wheel disconnect because he's just driven straight into the wall. He's back on the track now, but he, the car just veered straight off to the right, and he's struggling again. And is he going to go into the wall? He's into the wall again. I think this could be a combination of potentially a... Uh... Oh, again, Adam Lee! He's just served one 30-second stop go, and he's just picked up another. That's not going to help his race either. That's now going to give... Dom the Noodle, the chance to really, really pull away from Adam Lee and in turn Papa Goose. In fact, he could potentially get a lap on Papa Goose here. Papa Goose, I think, has that much damage that he could actually be done. In fact, Adam Lee has left the session. So Adam Lee has retired from the race. So that is not ideal for Adam Lee in his debut here in SFR ACC. Hopefully it will improve a little bit for him when we go racing in two weeks time in Zolda. Um, I mean I know I'm going to be here in two weeks time. Hopefully you guys in chat will join us there too. I'm sure Matthew will be more than happy to join me in the comms box for that one as well. I certainly will be as I'm currently keeping an eye on the battle for the lead and our pack of carbon seems to be reining in Leclerc here. He's now got it to just above four seconds the gap. I'm not sure if he's going I'm not sure if he's going faster or if Leclerc's slowing down, but our pack of garden carbon does seem to be slowly gaining on Leclerc. It is indeed. We are now on board with our pack of carbon on one of the onboard shots. Little camera just to the side of Alpaca Carmen, so you can sort of see Ooh. what Alpaca is seeing when he is out on track. That's again, you can still see got, it through the driver's eyes. We've got Sambo riding, just literally wall riding now at the moment. I do think you were right, Kieran, with the technical glitches. Sam may have had a few issues with his wheel, which is not ideal. Ooh, Sambo <laughs> almost takes out Alpaca. That was very, very yeah, close yeah. there. <laughs> there that yellow flag is, of course, for a slow-moving Sambo, unfortunately. I think he is really, really having issues with his wheel. Hopefully, he will be able to get them sorted sooner rather than late and get himself back on track and racing once again. This battle yeah, at the front is see. definitely closing up here. It is. There's two seconds separating these two cars now. 
I have a funny feeling that in about two and a half minutes, we're going to get the notification that the mandatory pit window is open. That will then initiate a 30 minute period where the drivers can come in and serve that mandatory pit stop. Where they have to, one, change tyres and two, refuel their cars. And that could potentially change the uh, outcome of this race. Because, of course, if someone tries to go be a little bit braver and uh, push on slightly worn tyres, that could cause a spin. That could put people out of the race, Matty. It's Ooh, certainly good as Papa Goose has gone off. Sorry, Papa Goose has just gone into the wall and he's surely going to have to pit now. With so There's going to be some more damage on the car. It's a disaster for him. It's unlucky for him as he's been overtaken now by Dom the Noodle to go up to P4. Disaster for the, for the, uh, for the pole sitter. It was the man who started this race on pole. Does not like wet weather conditions by the looks of things. But what is getting even more interesting, Whoa. there's no 1.1 second. Sorry, Kieran, go on. Papa Goose has um, ended up in a tyre barrier. Oof. That's not going to help his race in any way, shape or form. I'm wondering whether he has potentially just had a wheel disconnect as well. That is not ideal. Papa Goose very, very Ooh. much off the racing line. Oof. Sambo I thought Sambo was going to back into our packer there. Has a 30 second stop go that he needs to serve. I've got a funny feeling that in about 50 seconds time this mandatory pit window is going to open. And that we will get that half an hour period where people have to come into the pits. This battle at the front between Alpaca and Leclerc is really hotting up. The gap is now down to 0.4. Alpaca is looking for every opportunity to close that gap to Leclerc. And I'm just thinking, Kieran, could this, could this pit stop save Leclerc here by the bell? Because Alpaca, is he going to try and make a move? No, he closes it off. Oh, fantastic racing from both drivers there. It is indeed. These guys are so close to each other. So my prediction is that in about 10 seconds, that mandatory pit window is going to open. Keep an eye at the top of the screen, guys. It will say mandatory... Well, it will say pit window open. There it is. There it is. Spot the mandatory on. mandatory pit window is open. Drivers now have half an hour to perform their mandatory stop. Does anyone jump in early as night descends on Donington Park it is now 8 p.m. we have been racing for 15 minutes as our pack is, is still looking for a way round is he gonna get round no Jamie so close oh so close a little bit of contact between the two drivers there hopefully it's nothing too who's going to be the first of these two drivers to jump into the pits that's the question I'm now asking myself I'm wondering whether one's going to follow the other in, if I'm honest. They're staying out. No, they're staying they're out, staying Kieran. Out. Dom the Noodle's in there. Dom the Noodle has come into the pits. He is going to serve his mandatory. Every every driver is in the pits except from Will, Alpaca and Leclerc. In fact, we've lost Goose. Oh, dear. We are down to five drivers. Um, Papa Goose seems to have left the session. And it's not ideal. I think maybe it was a wheel disconnect from Mr. Papa Goose there. Ooh! Leclerc showing us a bit really of Tokyo drifting there. Indeed. Doing his best Fast and Furious impression <laughs> as Alpaca Carbon gets ever closer to TES Leclerc. Is he going to be able to make a move? Not yet around the claims. No such move able to be done. But now into copies. Alpaca breaks early. Is he going to look to try and potentially switch back? I'm wondering whether our pack is getting a little bit nervous on those uh, on those braking zones, Matty. And I think he might be struggling to try and keep up with the foot. I think so. I I think he's trying to push so hard to get past that he's eventually ended up breaking too late and giving himself a lot more work to do. Now that Leclerc's got this little this little break here, he can now get back into his rhythm and try to open up that lead that he had before can indeed but of course you have to remember guys these cars do still need to serve their mandatory pit stops but they have still got 27 and a half minutes or so left before that pit window closes so it is any time within that next half an hour or so 
Both cars decide that they are going to stay out for now. As Mr. Big Will has come into the pits, he's just finished his pit stop now. So he is now on his way back out onto track, having cleared his mandatory pit stop. Dom the Noodle as well is back onto the track, and I'm not sure what happened through the chicane there, but he seemed to go onto the gravel. Not sure what happened there. He's back on the track and seems to be back okay, but whether he just missed time that chicane a little bit there. Indeed. He looks to be all right for now. As you can see, the gap between TEF Leclerc and Alpaca Carbon down to under a second now. Oh, Alpaca! Ooh, got a little bit squirrely there out of McLean. On the run into Coppice now. Back on the power nice and early by Alpaca Carbon there. Closing up to TES Leclerc once again. Is he now going to look to potentially make a move into the S's? The guys are coming down. Starkey straight now. That is the run from turn 8 to 9. Here is turn 9. Quickly followed by turn 10. That is the S's. Down into turn 11, which is the ha Melbourne hairpin. Alpaca having a little look up the inside. Didn't want to go for the move just yet. Of course, there have been a specific rules set with these drivers in terms of uh, what people would call a dive bomb. Um, and you are requested to only look to potentially make a move if you are within two car lengths of the car ahead. On the note of two car lengths on the car ahead, these guys are <laughs> very much less than two car lengths away from each other. You can see the spray there. Our packer constantly having to move across to the right hand side. So he's not getting hit in the face by his Aston teammate with all we, this spray. We have seen though that, that we have seen that Leclerc, especially at, uh, I believe it was in Lagos last year in F1, how good he is at defending and how hard he is to overtake. And he's obviously been able to use those traits over onto ACC to make this as difficult as he can for our packer. Can indeed. And I believe Alpaca has... I don't know whether he's using it tonight or not, but I think he has got a uh, wheel. He has Sambo is still sat in wheel. the pits, Kieran. Sambo is still currently uh, sat in the pits. I think Sambo may potentially be... Uh, dealing with all of that uh, severe amount of damage that he did have. We'll stay with Alpaca for now. As the cars are coming through the S's, we'll jump to an outside shot, though. He seems to be getting closer to TES Leclerc. There could potentially be a move done into the Melbourne hairpin. Not close enough for our Packers liking yet. But hugging that apex, hugging that line as best as you can, trying to sit in behind TES Leclerc. Which is an interesting decision there, especially with all the spray. Now, it has been requested by the race directors that if you are going to come into the pits... You hug the inside line, which is what TES Leclerc has done. Alpaca takes the lead of this race as Leclerc comes into pit. Serve his mandatory pit stop. Alpaca does still need to do the same thing. But this will now give Alpaca Carbon the chance to put a nice little bit of space between himself and TES Leclerc for the race lead. And hopefully, from his side of things, the eventual race win, Matty. It certainly will. This is where we're going to see who made the right decision to come in. You mentioned about following each other in. but was the potential, but it's gone the other way, obviously, with Alpaca staying out. So he's going to have to work as hard as he can now to build that lead to make sure that when he does pit, he comes out either ahead of Leclerc or just behind as they were. See when Alpaca does come in. He's come out of coppice now. He's on the run down. Starkey straight. On the run down towards the S's, which is turns 9 and 10. As TES Bowman is now out of the pits. We do that. We uh, open up the big view so everyone can see where everyone is. So, in fact, TES Leclerc is not long left the pit. He is uh, coming under pressure from... Is he coming? No, he's not coming under pressure from Don the Noodle. Don the Noodle is a lap down compared to T.S. Leclerc. 
We'll see now though, is Alpaca going to come into the pits? We'll jump across to this view for now. Is he going to come into pits? No, he stays out. Alpaca That's decides very, very now bold risk. is not the time for him to come in. Here's a man we've not seen a lot of this race, Mr. Big Will. Yes, Big Will. Riding on board with Alpaca Kieran, he seems to be struggling a little bit with the back end of the car. Indeed, I'm wondering whether tyre wear is starting to become a little bit of an issue for Mr. Alpaca Carbon as Sambo is now on his way out. Finally been able to repair his car. And he hasn't served his penalty yet. He still needs to come and come back in. Serve his penalty. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel sorry for Sambo. This is not this is not gonna be nice for Sambo. Because of course I don't think Sambo refueled his car when he had all his repairs done. Because he still has that mandatory pit stop, Matty. Yeah. Yeah. So very... Sambo needs to come in again. To, re Ooh, to sorry, refuel his car and come back in again. So that's two to pit stops. That that's a stop disaster for him. And a pit stop here, a normal pit stop, is about 30 seconds. Oof. So Sambo is going to be about a minute down. Well, it's 30 seconds once you're in your pit box. Plus about, we say about 15 or 16 seconds to actually take the pit stop in terms of driving down the pits and things like that. So it's about 45 seconds that you're going to lose. And unfortunately for Sambo, he's going to lose it twice. That means he's going to be another minute and a half down. And with some of the times that are being set in qualifying, that's another lap, Matty. It is. And whilst you were discussing that, Alpaca, card, Alpaca Carbon is in, Kieran. So now it's all eyes on Leclerc to see where he's going to come out in com in comparison to Alpaca Carbon to how close well, it's going to be. They're in. The, they were both in the pits, Matty. They both came into the pits. Leclerc is a lap down. I don't have Jamie Leclerc on. Leclerc is a lap down. He's just come out of the pits now. So I... whilst Alpaca is in the pits. CES Leclerc has got a lot of work to do now to try and see if he can catch back up and get back round before Alpaca gets too far out of the pits. What am I doing? That's the one I want. There we go. Stop, go for Sambo. He's got two laps to serve that penalty. Sambo has two laps to be able to come into the pits to serve that 30 second stop by penalty. And again, he will still need to come in and serve his mandatory pit stop as well. So the man we both thought was going to, well, the man we thought was going to have a good race in Papa Goose, unfortunately didn't have the best of races. He has retired from the race. Person you said though, Matty, you said to look out for him. He started in P3. Currently leads the Grand Prix, or oh, not the Grand Prix, leads the race, sorry. <laughs> Hard to break some still, puppets, eh? <laughs> still in F1 mode. Leading the race is Alpaca Carbon. Alpaca Carbon was very consistent over the qualifying session. And I think that's what, that's what perked my interest a little bit. And I mean, he's proven that consistency again on on uh, during the race and in endurance races as a wise man once told me and that wise man is sat in the commentary box with me consistency is the key is indeed you want to make sure you get those nice consistent lap times in as alpaca comes around the melbourne hairpin now at the end of his 15th lap here in this race oh hang on a minute i don't know whether that's a Issue, Matty. Are you just noticed what I've noticed? Alpaca still needs to serve his mandatory. Yes. Yes. I think Alpaca Carbon has forgot to refuel his car. It is. It is difference Ooh, going from. That is a disaster for Alpaca Carbon. Just to remind uh, everybody, you do have to refuel your car in ACC during your pit stop for it to count as your mandatory pit stop. You do indeed. This is where this game differs from Formula One. 
whereas Formula One is a sim card and you're not allowed to refuel. ACC is a simulator and you are in, you are made to refuel your cars. So that's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. I wonder if whether Alpaca has actually realised that. Um, I'm assuming he will be in a party with Leclerc. In fact, I'll be honest, I've got a funny feeling that all five of the guys that we have still got in this race are probably all in an Xbox party with one another. <laughs> I'm just wondering whether Alpaca has realised Sambo has now come into the pits to serve, I would assume, this would be his 30 second stop go. I'm going to assume this is Sambo serving his 30 second stop go penalty. Uh, so I'm going to quickly jump down to TS Big Will because he is starting to have a looking to have a little bit of a battle with TS Bowen. Certainly, course, if them two start Alpaca battling, that in, is going to play right into the hands of Alpaca Carbon. It is indeed, but you also have to also remember that uh, I think with Alpaca having to refuel his car as well, it will give Leclerc and Will the chance to get themselves back on that lead lap. Um, in fact, same. I think they are now on the lead lap with one another. Alpaca is coming up to Starkey's bridge now. He's coming round McLean now. Or is that no? Sorry, this is Will coming round McLean. Uh, Sambo is still in the pits. Where is Mr. Alpaca Carbon? Let's have a quick look. Alpaca is coming on the old hairpin. Okay, so he's now taking turns five and six. So no, he is. He is a lap ahead of TES Leclerc and TES Big Will. This is such an intriguing jaw here, knowing that Alpaca has to come into the pits at some point. How long did you say the pits lasted again, Kieran? It was about 30 odd seconds? Uh, the, the, the actual time in your pit box is about 30 seconds. You then obviously have to take into account the other side of things as well. Unlucky, Mr. Goose. Very, very unlucky, my friend. That's going to be an agonising wait. In that's... the stream now. Oh, uh, very unlucky, Papa Goose. But that's going to be an agonising wait for Alpaca in the pit lane, knowing that they're going to be catching up. It is indeed. I still I don't know whether he's aware yet. That's the thing that's worrying me. Sambo is now coming out of the pits. Is that Sambo's penalty cleared? That is Sambo's penalty cleared, but now Sambo has to come in and do his <laughs> mandatory stop as well. Oh, it's, we are now halfway into this race. Half an hour gone. Half an hour to go in this race as Alpaca Carbon sets a 139.045 in that last pit, I mean, the last pit, last lap time, I should say. So there is T.S. Bowen coming up to turn seven of the McLean's. Alpaca Carbon is coming through the old hairpin now of turn four. And there's about Far, four or five turns between these two cars. Surely and Alpaca's Alpaca got to go for it, sir, and if he's aware. Sambo. Surely if he is aware, he would be coming in this lap. I would have thought. I mean, there's four corners between the two of them. With Alpaca obviously being that lead car. So Leclerc has to make, has to go round eight corners to be able to catch up to Alpaca. That should theoretically be enough for a packer to come in and serve his mandatory. I mean, he's got just over 13 minutes, obviously, of the pit window remaining. But you'd think he'd want to take, make the most of this huge gap that he's, that he's currently amassed. Well, you'd think so. He's coming around the Melbourne hairpin now, so we'll see if he comes up to Goddard to see come on, if he left. does dive into the pits. This anxious wait to see what he's going to do. He's staying out, Kieran, isn't he? He's stayed out. He has stayed out. He Maybe Alpaca out. is big brain in all of us here. Maybe he's got his own strategy in mind and he's going to put us to shame, Kieran. Oh, I really hope so. <laughs> I really hope so. I really hope that he hasn't just Ooh, assumed that Sambo's he's done off. mandatory. Dom gets past. And Sambo very nicely gets out of Noodle's the way there. Time there. But we can see TS Big Well six seconds away from TS 
Leclerc coming round at Coppice now does a big will which is turn 8 here at Donington Park if you are enjoying what you're seeing guys please 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 consider dropping a follow on the channel if you're not already and whilst you're over there or whilst you're here you have got Twitch Prime you can always consider a subscription as well to the SFR channel it will give you access to the wonderful wonderful emotes that we have got here in SFR you're able to spam the SFR logo any way you do like those in the Twitch chat have just seen me do well one of the perks we are looking to try and get some more emotes and things done like that so if you guys do have a Twitch player and you would like to support SFR in a way other than just watching the streams and a subscription would go a long way to helping the league all revenue that we do earn from subscriptions and things like that does go back into the league anyway so it is just going to be used to improve the league none of the admin uh, none of the admins or owners take a penny of what you put into this wonderful, wonderful league, wonderful, wonderful community that we do have here at SFR. That would go a long, long way, obviously, if you do want to watch this race again at a later date. It is going to go up on the YouTube channel Oof. tomorrow. If you want to go and find that, just head over to YouTube.com and search Supreme Formula Racing. We are on the road to 100 subscribers over there as well. If you could go and drop a subscription on the YouTube channel as well, that will then enable us to get a custom URL, which will make things a hell of a lot easier for you to find SFR on YouTube. Sambo is just unfortunately struggling so much in these conditions with the car. He's lost the back end again, but credit where credit's due. He's still going, still fighting out there as he's on the grass again going around God up, but he's still fighting, he's still going. Fair play to him there. He is indeed. I'm wondering whether from Sambo's point of view, this could potentially just be Sambo getting used to the game again. I know it's been a while since Sambo last raced on ACC. So uh, it could just be the fact that Sambo is getting used to a set of course of competizione once again. We shall see now. Alpaca, does he come in to the pits? Surely he has to now. He can't leave it much longer. Surely he's not coming Best in. Day. I genuinely don't think he knows he still has to serve as mandatory. I it's going to be a disaster if he think, doesn't. I genuinely don't think he knows he still needs to serve as mandatory. Mr. Alpaca it Carbon, if you are in the chat, I know you were initially. <laughs> if you're still in here, you still need to serve your mandatory, my friend. You need to pop yourself back in. Oh, that was a bit shaky from Alpaca. I don't know Ooh. whether that was him shaking or whether that was him uh, sending a little message to me saying, no, I don't need to. <laughs> As we said, he could he could be trying to big brain us. He could be have his own strategy in mind. Oh, Sambo's round again. That's not ideal for Sambo. Where is Big Will? Big Will is coming down. Starkey's straight at the moment. Trying to hunt down TES Leclerc. He's now got about near enough 10 seconds to try and catch back up to TES Leclerc. But he is uh, in a very comfortable third position at the moment. Don the Noodle only just taking McLean. So a big, big gap here for TES Big Will over Dom the Noodle. So we're looking quite comfortable there in second place. No, sorry, not second, in third place. T.S. Leclerc is in second place. That's why I said second place. We've just moved over to Leclerc. <laughs> As he is still trying to hunt down Alpaca Carbon. Come on, Alpaca. I am the... willing you to go in. No, he's not gone <laughs> in again. The other Aston Martin driver. Of course, we have got a team's championship as well. So, T.S. Leclerc and Alpaca Carbon both in the Aston Martins. Uh, we have TS Sambo and I think it's WRS Cam 10. We're both driving in the Lexus. Will is in the Porsche. Papa Goose is in the Honda. Don the Noodle is now in the Mercedes. That wasn't the car he initially was going to pick. I do know that. Um, 
Half of the life of me think what car it was that he was initially going to pick. Let's see if I can find out. See if I can refresh my own memory and remind myself. <laughs> I'm sure it won't take me long. The Sambo it. is off. I think this time he's off to That's actually it. let drivers through. Yeah, Sambo's off. Was off to let Will through and to let Alpaca through, I believe. Indeed. So Dom has moved across from Bentley to Mercedes. He was initially driving the Bentley. Now deciding he's going to drive in the Mercedes. So he will be fixed to the Mercedes now for the season. So I sincerely hope, Mr. Noodle, that you are getting used to that uh, Mercedes, my friend. Because you are now stuck with it, son. Alpaca coming up to Gollars now. The final turn here at Donington Park. Seven minutes left of the pit window. Please, Alpaca. Come in, I wouldn't want to see you lose the lead. Yes, he's come in. There it is. <laughs> I've never he been so excited to see him. somebody pit. <laughs> Just please remember to refuel your car, please. <laughs> now we watch T.S. Leclerc. He is... He's at McLean's. I think this was also a fact of Alpaca. As you said, potentially trying to bridge even more of a gap because he has been able to do that. Potentially, he was just trying to get the tyres to the stage where he physically couldn't take them anymore. Because he's shown Quite fantastic possibly. pace in qualifying and throughout the whole race. And then Quite he's possibly. also going to have the fresher tyres till the end of the race. A lot of, a big advantage on the fresher tyres. 20 minutes left. Just over. So Why we're just watching for that one next to Alpaca's name to disappear. So that green number one next to the number 12, you can see top left hand corner. There it goes, it's gone! He has cleared his <laughs> mandatory pit stop. Oh, Alpaca oh. Carbon is good and he can now race to the end. But oh, hello. Uh, as Alpaca Carbon is on his way out, TES Bowen is about to take Goddard. Oh, <laughs> these two are now very, very close to one another. Alpaca's coming through turn three now as TES Leclerc comes up to turn one. As you, can see, as you can see there, guys, with the gap, it does say 70 seconds. I think Leclerc may have to actually go past Bo, uh, go past Alpaca. I don't know. I don't nope, believe so, because I've updated. got it down as 12 seconds. Yep, it I has have updated it. now 12.38 seconds. Separate the top two. The chase is definitely on for Leclerc. He's got to make up a lot of time very quickly. Well, he's still got 20 minutes, I suppose. 20 minutes. We are into the final third of this race now. In the game, it is 1 a.m. So what are we running this at, then? I thought we were running this as a simulated four hours. I don't think we are. Because this race started at... 4 p.m. in the game. We have done four. We've done two thirds of this race, and it's now one o'clock in the morning. It's eight hours. I think this is a simulated 12-hour race. So this race will finish at 4 a.m. in game time. Sambo really, is currently very parked. Sambo is currently parked up by Goddard. I'm not sure if you're seeing this as well as me. Oh, he may have just been waiting to let the car go through. Hopefully we're seeing him move now. No, Sambo is not moving. That's on entry, is that? To... It's certainly a weird entry place into the, the Melbourne to Airpin. Yeah, I'm just going to jump on with... That's Mr. Big Will coming into the pits. Where's Noodle? There's Noodle. So we're going to drive, just drive on board with Noodle because I just want to check something. You jump into an on board. Yeah, there is Sambo. He's facing the wrong way on the braking zone to the Melbourne hairpin. Um, that's not ideal, Master Sambo. I'm not going to lie, my friend. Whilst we've been distracted though, Kieran, Leclerc has put in one hell of a shift. He's now got that gap down to Alpaca Carbon to 2.3 seconds. He has clawed him in at such a rate here. 
as indeed Dom the Noodle has now gained third place off of Big Will. Oh, Jamie's looking at the inside. Jamie has took Alpaca Carbon. Leclerc he has, has got indeed. round Alpaca. What a move there. Fantastic move by TES Leclerc. We have still got that yellow flag, of course, for Sambo's um, stricken car on the Melbourne Hairpin. It's not been the best of races, unfortunately, for Mr. Sambo. But uh, TES Leclerc now does lead this race. Question is now, can he pull a bit of a gap between himself and Alpaca Carbon? Don the Noodle you know doing what? very well here in P3, Kieran. He is, worked very what? well to get up the grid. Leclerc has already pulled up four seconds and gaining over Alpaca Carbon. Five, six seconds, seven seconds. <laughs> How has he managed that? <laughs> T.S. Leclerc is a man on a mission. I think Alpaca potentially is put on a little bit too much fuel. Potentially either a little bit too much fuel or has put on incredibly worn tyres. Which is not that ideal is. for Alpaca. But you can see the gap now between these two drivers. Alpaca, seven seconds, eight seconds now away from. In fact, no, it's more than that. T.E.S. Leclerc has gone. He is very much checked out. I think the gap is about 10 seconds between the two. It's about, yeah, just, uh, just under 10 seconds. There we go. Sambo has now come into the pits. I think that was a, uh, a start return to garage there by uh, by young Sambo. Um, I mean, it's it is somewhat understandable. I'm not going to lie. We do have a look at the garage. Sambo is unfortunately 16 laps down, following that massive massive shunt that he had earlier on, following what we're what we are assuming was a disconnection of his wheel, which is what resulted in him obtaining a fair bit of damage. TES Big Will has got TES Leclerc right behind him now. <laughs> As I said, TES Leclerc is now a man on a mission. The pit window is now over. The pit window 16, is close. 16.5 seconds is now the gap. Sorry, 19 seconds it's just jumped up to is the gap between Alpaca and Leclerc. A big, big gap between these two drivers now. As Dom the Noodle puts in a 138.7 on his most recent lap. I've got, we've got to keep an eye on CS Leclerc's time. I want to see what sort of time he crosses the line with. Because this has to be a ridiculous lap time by CS Leclerc. So we'll watch. We'll watch with Big Will, but keep an eye on the bottom left hand corner of your screen, guys. At that timing screen to see what time. 135.0. Bear in mind, Dom the Noodle, I think, just hit a 38. Was it a 38 Dom just hit last lap? Yeah, 38.7 was Dom the Noodle's last lap time. Dom the Noodle's best lap time is a 38.2. Leclerc just put in a 35 dead. Wow. It's Fishing incredible as of how <laughs> much T.S. Leclerc loves that Aston Martin. I'm so glad I'm on this. Uh, I'm so glad I'm commentating with you and not on the track here. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I do comms, Matty. Big Will has jumped into the pit. I'm assuming something may have happened on his last lap because his last lap was 151. He is in the pit lane getting some work done to the car. So that gives Dom the Noodle the chance to extend that to extend his grip on P3, which he's sitting comfortably in, obviously. Does indeed. 13 minutes left of this race here in Donington Park. This is round one of season one of SFR ACC. If you are enjoying what you are seeing, then uh, please consider dropping a follow if you are yet to do so. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Big Will and 
Sambo. Has Sambo come out of the pits as well? I think he has. He has. Sambo is back out on track. Go on, Sam. Was it a was it a major wheel disconnect for him? Quite possibly. I'm wondering. I'm hoping that it's now Sambo's issue sorted and he's got his wheel back. But he does seem to be driving a lot smoother than he was before he uh, had to unfortunately face the wrong way at the Melbourne hairpin. That gap to our packer now from Leclerc is up to 28 seconds. It is indeed. Where is T.S. Leclerc? He's just coming around the old hairpin of Turn 4. Alpaca Carbon is about to cross the line now. He's just crossed the line. There's about five corners between these two cars. Whereas, what, two laps ago, three laps ago, T.S. Leclerc was behind Alpaca. It's been an incredible stint. That The pit stop strategy has seemed to really, really help out Leclerc. But Alpaca, as we said, potentially overfueled. I'd be interested to... Um, to see his opinion on it after the race to see if oh as alpaca's spinning is he going to keep control he is he's just got it back just onto the track he did about. very very well to control that but i would be very interested to hear what happened during that pit stop as to whether it was overfueled or used tires i think the big game changer for this race was the fact that alpaca carbon didn't fuel the car on his initial pit stop so hopefully, if we do end up having a chat with both of the guys after this race, which I'm sure we will, we'll have a chat with our podium places following the race, just to get their views on how they feel the race went for them. As we are now into the last 11 minutes, just under, of this first race here in Supreme Formula Racing ACC. T.S. Leclerc does lead the way at the moment in the Aston Martin. You can see... His beautiful looking Aston Martin there in the SFR livery. Currently in P1. Alpaca Carbon, T.S. Leclerc's teammate for this season in second place. And in third, you just saw him in the back of the shot when we were with Alpaca. It is Dom the Noodle in the Mercedes with T.S. Big Will in the Porsche, currently in fourth place. And TES Sambo in the Lexus, unfortunately, has had not has not had the best race this evening. Has uh, young Sambo. It's unfortunately for Sam been uh, issue after issue after issue. It was a wheel disconnect with a couple with a few spins in wet weather, and uh, it hasn't helped, unfortunately. The conditions changed so quickly, so early into the race. We, were, we weren't even a lap into the race, were we? I think we just started when the conditions changed for the rain. We weren't very far in at all. I think it was in about the first five minutes or so of the actual race Ooh. starting. Oh, what has Mr. Matty seen? Noodle was behind Alpaca, I believe, looking for a move. Looked as if he was going to go down the inside, but Sambo was trying to let them both out of the way. Didn't quite... I don't think he left Noodle enough room there. I'm not sure if the move was really on for Noodle anyway. Both drivers got through safely, but Noodle's just lost a little bit of time to our packer to try and get round him, of course. We'll see now. You can see how close these two cars are to one another. Dom the Noodle has become... <gasps> what a move. Oh, what a fantastic exit oh, from Dom the Noodle. Back. Runs that line really, really tightly it's through the... Through that Melbourne hairpin, he's going to be the run now up to Goddard. Who's going to be the bravest of the two? Alpaca's going to push Noodle wide. Potential switch back. Is Noodle oh, going to get the switch back move. up the inside? Up the inside of what Alpaca. What a move. Carbon gets himself ahead of Alpaca. But I think Dom the Noodle is still a lap down compared he is. to Alpaca. He is, but I think he's still... Not, he's going to be so happy with that move. I'm sure we'll see that move at least six or seven times before this evening is done. Replayed. What a move there from Noodle. It was a fantastic, fantastic move by Noodle Noodle. But as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, I'll give you guys a bit of an idea as to what the different colours on everyone's name means. So the green on the people's names. So as you can see, we're on board with Dom the Noodle. So the names that are in white are people that are on the same lap as Noodle. So Noodle and Big Will are on the same lap. 
that Big Wall is now a lap down compared to Don the Noodle. Um, now he's back on the same lap as Noodle. That was really, really weird then. Don't know why the game did that. Sambo is multiple laps down, so he is a lap down from Don the Noodle, hence why his name is in this that sort of light bluish colour. The guys in green are a lap ahead. So TES Bowen and Alpaca Carbon are the only two cars who are on the lead lap. If we hypothetically go to look at the race from TES Bowen's point of view, as you can see, himself and Alpaca are in white. Everyone else is in that blue car. They are all a lap down compared to TES Leclerc. And it's for some reason saying that Alpaca is now a lap down compared to Jamie and I don't think he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really weird. In fact, oh no, in fact, no, he may have been actually. I think, has Alpaca just crossed the line? He has, Alpaca has just crossed the line. So that was actually correct. For that time where Alpaca's name was blue, he was actually a lap down from Leclerc. They are now on the same lap, so again, Alpaca's name goes to being white. We do that. That's actually showing that J Jamie is a lap that's ahead of Alpaca. Ooh, very yeah, that's what I just thought. I don't think he is. Jamie has just set a 134-1, Kieran. <laughs> a 134-1. sped. <laughs> Hold you. Leclerc wow. likes... Whoa! Goes a little bit wide into turn one there. A little bit wide into T1 there goes Mr. T.S. Leclerc. But he's able to hold it. He's got the nice little gap to be able to play with. So it's not too That's much. another commentator's curse moment there. <laughs> you need to stop talking about drivers like that. Because that's the second <laughs> time this race you've done something like that. <laughs> so as you can see, T. Uh, Alpaca is... So yeah, this is correct. Alpaca is technically a lap down because T.S. Bowen or T.S. Leclerc has started lap 32. Um, he's completed 31 laps. He's on lap 32. Alpaca is still on lap 30 as we speak. Oh no, 31, sorry. So as Alpaca crosses the line here, the one lap will disappear and will drop down to Dom the Noodle. There we go. So that now shows that Alpaca and Leclerc are on the same lap. Hopefully this all makes sense, guys. We are now into the final five minutes of this race. Alpaca Carbon is 38 seconds behind TES Leclerc. Hopefully, he can try and catch up a little bit. Jamie, if you want to make it interesting, slow down. <laughs> Give us some interesting battling towards the end of the race. As TES Leclerc jumps in and puts in a 135.7, Oh, Sambo, I think his wheels just disconnected as he just drove straight when there was a corner. Oh, Unlucky. Uh, I'm not sure whether it was. I think it may have just been a missed braking zone by Sam. You'll remember the uh, the track is still wet, Matty. You guys remember there are still... Well, the track conditions, as you can see, top right-hand corner, is damp. The track conditions are damp, according to the game. <laughs> so, four minutes left in this race. T.S. Leclerc leads this race. Having started from second place, started on the hypothetical front row of the grid. It is outside on the first row of the grid. Fell back a little bit at the start of the race after the mandatory pit window opened. Lost a little bit of time to Alpaca. Alpaca had a little bit of an issue with his mandatory pit stop. It gave Leclerc the chance to take advantage. And take advantage he has. He passes Alpaca and has just gone. And he is up on his best time so far. Oh, sorry, he's up on his previous time by nearly a second. This could be a 34-7-ish. By Leclerc. We'll see what it is when he does cross the line. In fact, no. <laughs> That's his fastest lap <laughs> of the race so far. A 133-393 wow. by T.S. Leclerc. 
<laughs> he is a man possessed, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he is what the ultimate spec. <laughs> it's probably the easiest way of putting this. He is the ultimate sped. We've got T.S. Leclerc leading. Alpaca is in second. T.S. Big Will fourth with Dom the Noodle holding that other spot on the podium with T.S. Sam. But fair play to Sam. We have said that he is quite a few laps down. He has not had the best of races. He's had a few issues with Think with his wheel. Obviously nothing's been confirmed. But we are thinking it is potentially an issue with Sambo's wheel, uh, which is what resulted in, resulted, sorry, in him being so many laps down. But fair play to Sam. He's still going. He's still trudging along, getting himself used to the game once again. Into the last two minutes now of this race. This could be, oh. I believe, this one. We this will be the penultimate lap. That T.S. Leclerc is going to start. Depends on when he crosses the line. Oh, no, this could actually be the final lap. No, nothing from race control. So this is the penultimate lap of the race, I think. I believe this will be the penultimate lap of the race. We shall see when the clock strikes zero. This will either be the so final sure lap. Don the noodle, not sure if it's tyre wear, but he just seems to be he just seems to be hitting the grass a little bit more now. Not sure if it's concentration or tyre wear. They have been out there for an hour, plus 30 minutes qualifying. That's a long time to be driving, Kieran. I will tell you now, I know Dom on a personal level. That won't be tyres, that will be concentration. <laughs> that will be a loss of con will be a lack of concentration <laughs> by Dom. He will have concentrated way too much for this past hour. All of his focus <laughs> would have been on trying to catch back up to Alpaca Carbon. Either that or he's still talking about the overtake on Alpaca <laughs> in the Xbox that party and that's what's put him off. But as soon as somebody's, fi as soon as this race is finished, open the garden door, let him run around, <laughs> let him burn off some of the energy. <laughs> we will jump back on with CES Lacoa. 20 seconds left of this race as he comes up around the Melbourne hairpin into the final 10 seconds now is he going to potentially slow down he is purposely drops down to first for that corner three two one that is time expired leader has finished the race, finished the race. T.S. Leclerc picks up the first race win of the season here in SFR ACC. Massive, massive congratulations to TES Leclerc for that win there. Alpaca Carbon now just needs to drive this final lap and second place will be his. In fact, where is Mr. Sambo? Oh, Sambo has had a little spin. In fact, there we go. It will end the session there. That is what everything looks like. Those are your final standings. T.S. Leclerc picks up the race win as the fireworks start going off. You can see them just in the head of the, the top of the shot there, guys. T.S. Leclerc wins the race. Alpaca in second. Don the Noodle in third. Big Will fourth. Sambo in fifth. Papa Goose, Adam Lee both not finishing the race. Not sure about you, Matty, but... Shall we get our podium places into a party? I think we should. Are they ready to do another hour? Can, can we do the race in a couple of weeks time now? <laughs> <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Just jump. incredible racing, That's especially the standout of moves of the day have to be Leclerc on Alpaca. And again, unfortunately for Alpaca, Dom the Noodles move on Alpaca as well, which I'm sure, as I've said, You've literally he was probably said still that talking about. As he's jumped into the party. <laughs> Because that's definitely not going to inflate his ego even more. <laughs> I didn't think that was possible. With the guys. <laughs> so let's just get Mr. Alpaca Carbon in as well. See if he does want to have a little chat with us. We've got Dom the Noodle. Dom, make sure your audio is included, bud. As always. Indeed. GG's indeed, Chloe. GG's indeed. So, 
we are going to just see if the other guys are going to jump in. If not, we'll have a chat with Mr. Noodle. Might as well. He's joined us in the party. So, first race of ACC. Early bit of rain. Did that affect you? Uh, I'm not going to lie, I caught us all by surprise. None of us were expecting it. Um, I don't even think uh, the leaders were expecting it, to be fair. Um, and by the leaders, I mean, like, you know, um, Papa Goose, Leclerc, um, and Alpaca. They were, none of us, it just caught us by surprise. We weren't expecting it so early on. Um, and within half a lap, usually I'd say it went wet, um, like really wet. Um, and a few people came in for wet tyres. A few people uh, came in and accident put the dries on. Um, that was quite funny. Um, because obviously you've got to change it on your thing. Uh, so yeah, some people messed up the first pit stop. I After the rain came in, I was like, right, okay, it's rain. I've just got to keep a, a, keep a decent groove and just make sure I just don't lose it. Um, lost it a couple of times, but not to the extent of like a major spin, uh, which I'm quite proud of because in all of my practice and all of yeah, in just all of my wet practice, the car just kept going round. Uh, there was nothing I could really do. Um, but yeah, the rain the rain was a massive factor today, and even after it stopped, uh, a few of the boys put dries on um, and they struggled. So I was like, yeah, I'm staying on the wets. It's just not worth it. Fair enough. Uh, we noticed that you did. Uh, you changed your car. You were initially announcing that you were going to drive the Bentley, but ended up driving the Mercedes. What was the thought process behind that? Uh, yeah, so it's kind of like um, a double-decker bus versus a go-kart. Um, I mean, you think about a double-decker bus turning into corners. It's you know, it's definitely a lot higher on the top end. Than it is than a, than a go kart. So, you know, when you turn in, it's going to tip a bit more. And I just wasn't able to control that in the um, in the Bentley. Uh, I've I done a couple of practice laps, no more than a handful of practice laps in the Mercedes. And I was like, this, this is a good car. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it's one of those cars that, thanks to the today's race uh, it's installed a lot of confidence in me and I'm going to stick with it to the season now fair enough so I'm just going to try and find a, a nice looking GT3 that'll do we'll go with that nice little uh, black and yellow number there for now so Matty have you got anything that you'd like to talk to Noodle about well obviously your move on Alpaca were you worried about when he was able to hold you off on the first hairpin, were you worried about the second one, or did you always your plan originally to try and take him on the second one? No. So obviously he was in the party with us, um, and he said that he'd gone onto the drives, you know, balls to the wall, uh, sort of thing. Um, at the end of the day, if it didn't work, it didn't work. And I knew that I was gaining time on him, so I knew that I was going to get him somewhere. Um, and obviously the rate of knots that I was catching him, I, I was like, right, okay, I know I'm not lapping him, but I'll flash him to let him know I'm there. Um, and the first, the first hairpin, he caught me by surprise. He got a lot more traction than I thought he would have out of the hairpin. Um, and then I saw he went, you know, and and hit the brakes a little bit later than I did into the into the second hairpin. And I was like, it's it's game. I I should have him. Uh, and then I turned in, um, and I saw the uh, position indicator pop up, and I was like, we could touch here. We could really, really touch. Um, and luckily, neither of us did. Um, and yeah, it was, it's big of me to say it, but it was a great, it was great defense from him. Just, his tires let him down. That's fair enough. Well, congratulations on P3, Don. Very well deserved. Uh, just want to make a shout out to Big Will, who um, was my test dummy, uh, as Kieran has been in many, many different league races before. <laughs> um, Big Will was my test on me for the heart uh, for the dry tyres. Uh, he thought, oh yeah, it's drying up, it's definitely time for the dries. He went in and I was like, I'll give him a lap. He said that they weren't working after a lap and came in a couple laps later. And I was like, yeah, I'm definitely staying out on these wets. So yeah, shout out to Will. He done really well as, uh, as well today. So um, it's a shame I had to take the P3 off of him. He probably deserved it a bit more than I did uh, based on pure, pure racing pace and racing style and etiquette. But, you know, 
on the day strategy is what strategy is and it just didn't happen indeed well congratulations as we say for that p3 dom very very well deserved and we move on to the man who finished in second place the man that dom has very briefly just had a little bit of a conversation about mr alpaca carbon hello hello good race from you there michael uh how did you feel the race went for you i mean it went really well to be honest um obviously the end was a bit of a gamble the uh i the, the problem was i pitted for the wets and obviously i'd pre-done a uh fuel setup thing so obviously once i pitted it done the fuel but i didn't realize it was out of the pit window so obviously the next pit when i pitted again i forgot to add fuel thinking it was going to automatically do it for me so that's what sort of messed me up there that was that was one of the things we were querying whether that was what had happened or not and whether the fuel hadn't gone in but, yeah uh, i mean to be fair, you I feel did like, well. yeah i feel like i had the pace in the wet and um i think jamie definitely had the pace in the dry and when the rain come I sort of got a bit excited and then it sort of the car came to me and so did jamie so yeah it did Don't come back on screen Give me a second, go um, Let's get a Aston V8 on screen. I'm not going to use my car though. Oh, I have lost my co-commentator. That's not ideal. We have regained my co-commentator. Shall I? I'm putting, a, I'm putting a V12 on screen. I don't care. Let's try... yeah, sure, that'll do. I know it's not the V12 that the guys were using, it was the V8, but I haven't got any good liveries for a V8, so unfortunately we're stuck with a V12. I think Matty is now back with us. Yes, you do. Yes, there we go. <laughs> he is back with us now. Got to love a few technical issues, because... It would have been less fast room without taking more shoes. But anyway, back to the wonderful Mr. Alpaca Carbon. Um, so we asked Noodle the same question. Were you expecting the rain to come down as early as it did? Um, no, not at all. As I said, when the, when the rain did come, my eyes did light up a little bit because in the practice when it was raining, I did have a bit of pace, surprisingly. So, And uh, yeah, like I actually enjoyed the rain, surprisingly. It was, it was definitely my sort of territory. For, for the race but unfortunately uh the end of the race i sort of took a gamble the, the laps were running down and the time was running out and it was drying up but unfortunately it just didn't dry up enough but you know it is what it is and it was a fun race i got second place which is more than i expected so indeed started in p3 i will say that uh matty did have you down to win he, he, he oh put, sorry mate he put, he put the, i could have for you he put the faith in you. He did put the faith in you. But uh, we've got Zolder. Zolder in a couple of weeks. Uh, how are you feeling about the prospect of Zolder? Um, quite confident now because I've changed a few uh, controller settings just before the race. And in the practice, it was beautiful. And the race seemed really nice. So, But hopefully next by next Friday, I should have my wheel set up anyway. So, yeah, Ooh. it should be a bit of uh, a bit of nip and tuck. So we'll see what happens but regardless i feel like i'm not in a good place right now so it's what we like to hear matty anything from you bud yeah no worries man thank you i let you down so i took the gamble <laughs> <laughs> thanks man yeah. alpaca carbon the man who finishes in second place this evening and now on to the race winner the man who just just seems to be a man possessed once he caught back up to Alpaca Garvin. The man that just became more and more sped with every lap that he did. Using a slightly different account, but it is the man we all know and love. That's T.S. Leclerc. Good evening, Jamie. Oh, good to be here. Hello, everyone on stream. Hope it was enjoyable enough, despite the low numbers. 
but that was really hard at some points. Um, especially as I thought I threw it away once I pitted because the dry tyres went on when it was raining still. So I had no life in my tyres whatsoever when I came out the pits. That's why I pitted again. Um, but once I pitted again, it was just head down, stay focused. Um, push now. And yeah, it was just quality lap after quality lap after quality lap. And I thought my pace was pretty good come the end of the race. Um, but yeah. Good race overall, good to get the max points out of the weekend. Indeed, I think uh, the fastest lap we saw from you on stream was I think a 33.3 was uh, one of the fastest laps that you ended up hitting, so just give you an idea of... It was a fast. 33.393 and then I heard on stream that um, you thought I slowed down on the last lap, I'd done a 39.390 on the last lap. So I went quicker on the last lap again. So that just gives you an idea of just how fast this actually is, ladies and gents. He loves the Aston Martin. He loves the Seto Corsa. And uh, so you say that right. with the first stop, it put dry tyres on. Um, for the second stop, did you just put another set of dryers on? Or did you go back onto the wets? Another set of wets. Okay, you went back onto the wets. Um, yeah, I went back onto the wets and... Um, Michael was leaving it as late as he could because he thought it would dry. He eventually pitted towards the end of the uh, pit window closing. Um, took the gamble, which I rate him for. Not many people would have done that. He took the gamble. But the track was still relatively damp and it stayed damp throughout. Um, and I was just able to catch. That's why I was catching so quickly in that second part of the race because Michael was on dries and I was on wets and the tyre difference may not look much but it was because the track was still wet enough so it, it's I was thinking about dries as well because at that time of night you don't realise you can't really tell if it's completely dry or still damp um, so yeah, I'm just glad I'm stuck with my gut and stayed out on the works. Indeed, it was a uh, very, very good call by yourself there to stay on those wet tyres. Of course, that was a, uh, a four-time multiplier on the time for tonight's race. Um, so we got a little bit of night racing as well. Um, how much does your mindset change between day racing and night racing? The mindset doesn't really change, I don't think. Um, you're still focused as much as you can be, but the people that don't do endurance racing, um, it's like a completely different track at night. Obviously, the temperature drops, the wet weather didn't help. Um, it does It does feel like a completely different track. And, and your breaking points some, can be gone as well. Yeah, and, that, and that's... Um, that's what you got to look out for. You've just got a endurance race, and yes, this is only an hour race, and it's a sprint. We have longer races to come throughout the season, as we all know. Um, key ones being the Nurburgring and Spa, which are two hours, so double the race length of here. And endurance racing really is a race of attrition. It's it's tricky, and it's not easy. Um, so. Not for the faint heart. Yeah, you've just got to stay focused, and you've got you've got to have the right mindset from qualifying. The minute you're in that lobby, that's all you think about. Just where I'm going to break, how I'm going to accelerate out a corner, where can I improve through this corner? Could I have been closer to this apex? It's completely different to F1. Um, yeah, it's hard. And that, ladies and gents, is why I'm nice and safe and warm and cosy in a commentary box whilst those guys are out on a track. Cause... Also, <laughs> also something he didn't mention is um, other drivers in the night. 
like you can you can trust them just as much but it's a lot harder to see them make a single movement like a single input on the wheel um in the night than it is in the day because whilst yes their lights are on and they might have their standard lights on or their endurance lights on even the smallest little input can be the difference between you know like a, that move on carbon the smallest little input could have put us both in the wall and out of the race um completely um so yeah it's it's a lot harder to race other drivers in the night as well um and endurance endurance as well it's like jamie said it's focus as well as um sort of comfort if you're not comfortable whilst you're racing it's going to be painful and you're going to lose focus really quickly also that cheeky little thing you mentioned in the stream i hadn't lost i hadn't lost focus it was a fresh set of tires that i wasn't quite used to <laughs> Uh, the braking zones were a little bit different, and I went to brake at my standard spot. Uh, they weren't scrubbed in enough, and I went too deep, um, which caused me to uh, caused a few corners to be a little bit different. But once they scrubbed in, it was it was easy. But yeah, no, I didn't lose focus, which is why I'm quite excited for the two hour races. So thank you, thank you to Jamie for setting this up as well. Um, I mean, I've loved tonight's race, and I'm gonna love the rest of the season i didn't know i had this much pace in acc i genuinely thought i was slow until tonight um and it's gonna be an interesting season between myself and big will it is indeed so as we say the season does continue in a couple of weeks jamie we are going to zolder in two weeks time uh, a track i know that you've driven quite a bit around i've seen you in other leagues racing around zolder uh, how are you feeling going into round two of acc Oh, so yeah, about F1, it's easy to kind of say what you think on the next race, but in endurance racing, no weekend is the same. It can be, uh, yeah, it works. It could be completely different temperatures in a couple of weeks. And of course, if it was next week, we'd be able to see what sort of weather's around Zolda, but it's two weeks time. We're not going to find out the weather until we turn up. So you need to practice for all sorts. Zolder is a tricky little track, but it's a fun track. Um, also down know, south, so the chances of rain are low. It's not down south, it's in Belgium. <laughs> More south than we are. All right. Um, where was I? Tricky little track. track. Tricky little track. There are a couple of chicanes on there where if you hit one too much, you will, there, there. You will go shuttle status. Um, the best way I can describe it to you, Kieran, is you at Kyle Army in a Porsche. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, it's really tricky, and obviously, we don't know how many people are turning up. Obviously, we had seven today, which is just over half the grid, um, which is good for the first week. Obviously, we know there's a couple of guys that aren't able to make it due to personal commitments. But they will be turning up later on in the season. Um, yeah, I just the fir the first season is one of the most difficult because SFR has just been Formula One. But this is a brand new category to everyone, um, and it's a. It's completely different because, as, as you mentioned on stream, it is a sim. Like if you, you've seen the setup screens for yourself, like it's so much more intricate and it makes a massive difference. So it goes back to focus, and if you really want to do well, you really have to put time into this category because it, <laughs> again, isn't easy. It definitely is not easy. But you were able to put that car on the top step of the podium. Get yourself maximum points for race number one. 
here in season one of SFR ACC. So a massive, massive congratulations to you, Jamie. Matty, have you got anything you'd like to ask our race winner before we wrap things up here this evening? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure to have you on comms as well. And just to mention to them, it's our pleasure to bring ACC to SFR. It's been in the works for a good a year and a half-ish. And it's finally good to have it going. And the more races we do, the more drivers we should be able to get to take part. And then it'd be even more fun and more mayhem for you guys to come and take on. Indeed it will be. Carbon has quickly popped back into the Twitch chat after leaving the party. And GG guys, great race, great battles and great comms. Carbon, thank you so much for giving both myself and Matty some amazing racing to be able to commentate on. It's been an absolute pleasure. But that is going to wrap up things for us this evening here in round one of SFR ACC. As we say, we will be back in two weeks time on the 20th of August for round two in Zolder. But tomorrow, 8 p.m. UK time, we will be back with Formula One. It is the start of season five. Unfortunately, there's no Swayze tomorrow night. So it will be myself on comms, potentially with a guest commentator. But you guys will have to stay tuned for that. But until next time, guys, from myself, Kieran Rank 92 and Matty Valander, thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see you in two weeks' time in Zolder. Good night.